I'm Martin Jacobson. I won the main event five years ago, and now we're back at the Rio where it all started. The main event's the one tournament that every poker player dreams of winning. Just having a, the opportunity to play the main event one is like a dream of every poker player. I almost have to go back to like my first time entering the Rio. It's such a unique yeah, experience and sound like you've never heard before. 4,000 players spread across 500 tables. The only sound you can really hear is people shuffling ships. And you can just feel the tension in the room that everyone's there for the same reason. Everyone wants to win. You can really feel that energy in the room and it's, it's really something. So back in 2014, the WSOP used the November 9 format, and that was basically a three-month break between making the final table and then actually finishing it and playing it out. There was a lot of, I wouldn't say pressure, but more like anticipation and excitement, you know, waking up every day and knowing that you're one day closer to uh, your ultimate goal. A lot of my opponents say I've been just taking it easy and, and partying for three months and, and celebrating the, the achievement of making the final table. In my opinion, when you're in that state of not committing 100% to something as difficult and competitive as, as poker, it's really hard to win. Uh, you have to be fully committed, either 100% invested in it or, or, or not. I was more focused on preparing. I actually haven't watched the final table. I don't remember much from the actual play uh, at the final table. I remember flashes of, of my preparation, like you know, waking up in the morning, going to the Rio and, and the crowd. Uh, it's like a, a flow state that I've been trying to repeat ever since. You uh, reach a higher level of consciousness where you're so focused on something that you're not conscious of time or, or anything else really, you're just focusing on the task. Well, I remember I had pocket tens and I was all in against ace nine. One of my friends came up with a chant 10 for 10, like we wanted a 10 for 10 million. Well, she shows the window card first and it's a 10. And like I knew at that point that it was 99.9% .9 over. It was, it was hard to grasp the reality of the moment. Yeah, it's always funny and a bit awkward too when, when people realize that you're sitting there like underneath your banner and then they look at you and then you see that they're trying to figure it out and then they want to ask but they don't and then eventually they'll ask and nod and it's, it's awkward but it's funny at the same time. 